just dogging. Don't be a pike. Be a big walleye. Oh, it's barely hooked. No! We are fishing. Guys, um, we've got a pretty big tournament coming up. Probably my biggest walleye tournament of the year. Clay versus Jay. Who's Clay, you might ask? It's big. That rattle bait is gone. Yeah, baby, bam! Monster! Does that feel good? Well, Clay, it's my buddy Clayton Chick, Clayton Chick Outdoors. Angler, fishing guide, YouTube video content maker, creator, producer. You know, there's a lack of tournaments this year. So Clayton and I were like, well, why don't we do a, a little virtual tournament? And we, uh, we go head to head against one of our favorite species to chase, the mighty walleye. So this is actually pre-fish for it. Um, I'm looking for, looking for some big walleyes. We're gonna do five longest walleyes, combined inches. The tournament's happening tomorrow. So, kinda need to figure some things out. I have some areas I know that I can probably go catch lots of fish, but catching a big fish is a whole nother deal. So right now I'm kinda swinging for the fence and trying to find some big fish. If we don't get big fish going, well, Clayton's on big fish water. I don't think Clayton's gonna catch lots of fish, but I think potential of him getting a big one is really good. Well guys, I was out on opening day. I'm gonna give you guys a little video clip that I captured that day. I wasn't filming, but I did pull the camera out for one bite, which was my only bite of the day. In just a couple days, I'm about to go head to head against Clayton Schick. Today's opening day of walleye season in Northwest Ontario. Wasn't filming, just caught my first walleye of the season. And it's not a small one. Clayton, I'm coming for you. Five of these next week is gonna be awfully tough to beat. All right, let's get a release of this. Look at that. Better watch out, Clayton. I'm coming for you. We're just fishing, uh, fishing a rocky, oof, fishing a rocky point by the mouth of a spawning creek. There's a fish. Is it a walleye? Is it a bass? Sometimes the walleye and the bass can be mixed together this time of year because they're all pushing up shallow. And we got ourselves a smallmouth bass. Not going to complain, but. Uh, this won't count against Clayton, unfortunately. The water is warming up, so I'm expecting these walleyes are gonna be shallow, but uh, sometimes they will pull out deeper, some of the bigger fish too. Like you can kind of always find walleyes deep, so we might spend some time poking around deep as well. I don't know, I, I find spring walleyes can be pretty challenging. As far as species go and, and finding them in the spring, I would say I'm definitely less confident with walleyes, but just because I haven't done it as much that's why we're pre-fishing. Please be a walleye. Please be a walleye. Guys, I think we got a good walleye. That fish just drilled it. First bite of the day. I thought it was a pike with how hard it hit it. That is a good sign. Nice, nice walleye, guys, come on. Come on, let's go. Coming for you, Clayton. Welcome to pre-fish for Clay versus Jay. Just chomped the Jay's jig swim bait. One more quick look, that's probably a whatever, 22, maybe 23 inch fish. Going right back. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing today. This is my, this is one of my favorite walleye search baits when they're shallow. I, I, I wouldn't say shallow walleye fishing is my forte, but I am, you know, trying to do more of it and trying to tap into it. Anyways, casting this three inch little ripper swim bait white. I put a little bit of a heavier head on um, just so I can cover water as quick as possible. Basically, I'm just casting out, letting hit bottom, just swimming it, popping it a couple feet. Um, these fish probably just finished spawning and um, kind of what I'm focusing on is near spawning creeks, a little bit of current. I'm, tr I'm trying to make sure that I'm at least in the vicinity of those areas. And uh, we're spending our time shallow right now looking for fish. That fish probably came out of eight feet of water, seven feet of water. But uh, we're gonna keep bouncing around. 
uh, throwing the swim bait, which is so much fun. And hopefully we get some more heavy hook sets because that was, that fish crushed it. It's almost like bass fishing. If you guys have ever watched in Fisherman, you've probably seen Doug Stangy use swim baits for walleyes and it's just, it's such a good search bait. I mean, I know pitching a jig in a live minnow would probably be a good option too. And I keep letting it hit bottom. I keep reeling a couple cranks and then I'm letting it hit bottom because this bottom contact and being in that strike zone is just so important. If I just straight cranked it, I might be, you know, halfway off bottom. So I'm pretty much just looking for some sort of pattern, some sort of spot that I can catch a couple fish off of. I know that the part of the lake I'm fishing, it's it's not a numbers game. I'm fishing for big fish. So, I mean, that's, that's a tournament strategy, right? It's like, and you don't always pre-fish like you would fish in a tournament, right? When I'm pre-fishing now, I'm hitting as many spots as possible. I'm moving around. And then when it comes to tournament time, um, I caught that fish now within sight of the spot that I caught the, the big one the other day. So that gives me a good vibe that if I stuck it out all day here, I could probably get five decent bites. I just don't want to lose to Clayton. Clayton, I don't want to lose to you. You're a nice guy, but I want to crush you. Guess who's back, back again. Jay is back, tell a friend. Wind blowing into the back, it's a little muddy bay near the spawning area. I mean, it sounds good. Could be good. What would Clayton Schick do? What would Clayton Schick do? Please be a big walleye. This is feeling like a walleye. It is feeling like a nice walleye, guys. I'm gonna spot lock us here. Nice, Walter. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Spring walleyes on swim baits, the best search bait, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna measure that guy too. Here we go, guys. Look at that chunk. Look at that walleye, guys. Beauty, we're gonna throw it on the tape, 26 incher. I need to send a little smack talk to Clayton here. I would be pretty worried if my name was Clayton Schick right now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, welcome back. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. You know what, this is rod is a little bit on the lighter side, but I really like how it fishes these lighter swim baits. It's just so sensitive. This is actually my hair jig rod. Seven and a half foot medium light NRX. I got 10 pound braid on a 3,000 3, size Stratic. Uh, 10 pound braid to, this is eight pound floor. I should probably be a little heavier, probably around 10. And we got the bullet nose jig with this is the three inch rip remember that those bait salmon i made uh, a couple weeks ago the first soft plastic mold i got this is this is why i went with the three incher not as much because i wanted the smaller presentation but more so i wanted to be able to work it faster in the water water and when you get a, a four inch or whatever inch swim bait five inch swim bait you have to fish a little bit slower so the smaller bait is a little quicker for searching obviously it doesn't throw off the same vibration but uh so good so we're two walleyes but we got probably a 22, 23 incher and a 26 incher. So we are fishing for quality right now. I know I can go to a different part of the lake and catch numbers, but that whole strategy, it's like, we're sticking out for five bites. So as I was just saying, wind blowing into this bay, spawning area behind us there. So, I mean, hopefully we can duplicate that. I'd like to get two to three bites like that in a bay and I'd be feeling real good. But uh, those, are, those are the type we're looking for, guys. Let me guess, Clayton's using a jig and a minnow right now. All that guy knows how to use, jig and minnow. Jig and minnow this, jig and minnow that. My name's Clayton Schick and I like to use jigs and minnows. Clayton, we get it. You like jigs, you like minnows. I try an active jig and a minnow and a dead stick jig and a minnow. Been seeing a couple suspended fish on the old side imager. Why not troll a crank? That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, oh, thought it was snagged. Oh, it's got some size to it. Oh, it's off. Oh, oh, I was, I was just pounding. I, th I think it was a bass, but I don't know. Ah. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
Oh boy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Stay on, stay on. I'm reversing, I'm reversing. Just got throttled. Don't be a bass. It's coming up like it's a bass. I can't tell, it's splashing on the surface. We got a big old small mouth. Trolling the deep dive and live target smelt and it's catching small mouth. Oh well. This is what I'm running. It's a deep dive smelt. It's getting down around 12 to 15-ish feet, depending on how much line I have out. Uh, this I got a little heavier floral on, I think probably 12 or 15. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of casting it out and ripping it on a spinning rod. We're moving about a mile and a half. Guys, I was just reeling in and I hooked up suspended way off here, way off. This is a big walleye, guys. This fish was suspended way off the reef. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. It's just dogging. Don't be a pike. Be a big walleye. Oh, it's barely hooked. No! Oh! Oh, did you guys see that? Did you see the hook just pop out? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope I hope that was captured. That was insane. Holy smokes. The hook popped and I dove with the net. It's not crazy big, but it's it's towards our five fish limit. Even though this isn't the tournament, we're just, we're, we're getting ready. Let me give you guys a look. I'm gonna move it to the other side here so we got better light. That was absolutely madness. I was on the phone. You probably didn't even see me hook up really, but uh, another nice walleye on the board. That one isn't as long as the one this morning, but it's thicker. That is awesome, guys. Right there. We need five. Five like this, and I think we're gonna beat Clayton. All right, this one is going back. I'm gonna call that a fat. Fat uh, 24 incher. That's good. That's good. That's good. So since I haven't really uh, found a spot on a spot yet, I was just trolling around using the electric and just popping this behind the boat. And I came off the rock piles and that fish hit suspended in the middle of nowhere. So I, I think he probably followed me off the rocks out into the deep, but he probably hit me over 25 feet of water. So that doesn't give me a great pattern to go on, but I know that I'm in a big fish area. I've had three bites today and they've all been the right the right type of bites. The scary part is I could come here and I could, you know, not catch five, but so far those three are all quality fish. I'm probably gonna roll the dice tomorrow, but we're gonna we're gonna keep playing around. I'm gonna keep trolling. That was cool that we got a bite trolling. Yeah, that was that was exhilarating. How about that net job? Pre-fish is complete, guys. This is gonna be interesting. We're on quality bites. The, the fish I'm catching are all real good fish, just not a lot of them, but luckily we only need five. Clayton's on, on big fish water as well. I think if Clayton finds the fish, he might he might have it, but it's so tough to say he's on big water as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Clayton. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to wear your life jackets on the water, and uh, next time we see you guys, it'll be competition time.